Hi, so if your little one is swimming or you yourself are swimming or senior citizens in your family or yourself are one and who is swimming, then yes, but particularly for the little swimmers at home, very important this swimming season, ensure very good skin hygiene. Also make sure the pool that you're using has good hygiene because there are several bacterial, viral, fungal infections, permanent tanning, hair fall, etc. issues which we get from the swimming pool. As a seasoned dermatologist over a period of last decade, I've seen lots of young kids developing molluscum contagiosum, chicken pox, herpes labialis, cold spores, secondary to their swimming uh, sessions, which last them almost a lifetime, especially of course the cold spores. For swimming, most important, take care of the uh, swimming pool, that it has good hygiene, they are checking that children with cold sores are not entering the pool or with acne are not entering the pool. If you think a, a child is developing green hair, nothing to worry that just means the pool has more chlorine either change the pool but along with it ensure that you're taking care of the chlorine so that the child does not develop green hair and a lot of hair fall after that just take a bath for the hair the bath bathing for the shampoo for the hair should be done with some tomato juice Safed Sirka, yes, our simple white vinegar will also help in, you know, changing the pH uh, because of this chlorination and copper reaction which leads us to green hair for the children particularly. Also, lemon juice uh, will uh, do the same, acidic vinegar will do the same and tomato juice will do the same. So, you can do any of these remedies to shampoo after using the regular shampoo. Use that as a last rinse for the hair. Before the child goes into the pool, you should ensure there is some oiling, hydration done on the whole body. So, some sort of a oil like jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, yes, sarsoka simple oil, any oil, just take a few drops of it and apply it lavishly. Of course, sunscreen on the face and the arms is important. Rest can be just moisturized with certain oil so that there is a little uh, barrier with the uh, water and the chemicals and germs in the water if they are there. The swimming suit should be slightly loosely fit. It shouldn't be very tight for the child because then the water will stick and will cause more uh, irritation after the swimming. After the shower, make sure that the child is taking a slight warm bath that will ensure that all the germs and all are killed. Uh, moisturizing the body after the swimming is extremely important. Jojoba oil is my favorite. Vitamin E, almond, coconut, any oil of your choice is going to help the child so as to not get tanned. Ensure the child is wearing sunscreen even after swimming if the child is going out in the sun and sun stays on till 4 o'clock. Don't think it's raining outside or for heaven's sake snowing also because any weather is possible now. So don't think that you don't have to use the sunscreen. Sunscreen for children has to be used. Mild shampoos have to be used. More hygiene has to be used uh, at a personal level because if we will ensure that our child is safer and more hygienic, I'm sure the pools will transmit lesser infections at a larger scale. If the child is developing rashes for swimming even after all this most important and easiest remedy to do is rub eyes on it put aloe vera or chilled curd yes curd is strongly anti-inflammatory even to eat it's very helpful because of probiotics in uh, cases of allergies and rashes and also to apply you can put some skin calming cream and uh, something with lactocalamine kind of base with aloe vera is definitely going to help the child. Please ask us questions, please ask me topics, suggest me topics that you would like from us in this print opinion. <laughs>